Yeah, I wish that there were firm consensus with regards to fasting insulin, like we have with so many other markers. There isn't. And the ranges will vary almost from lab to lab. Someone could, if they convince their clinician to get their fasting insulin measured, it's entirely possible that the lab will say anything under 15 microunits per mil is normal. And I blanch at that idea. I think that's way too high. So <clears throat> with a little bit of scrutiny in the evidence, digging through the evidence, my conclusion is that if someone has a fasting insulin of six microunits per mil or less, that's a very, very good sign that the body is insulin sensitive. In other words, you only need a modest amount of insulin to get the job done, you know, whatever insulin needs to do. And insulin does a lot of things because as a reminder to the audience, literally every single cell of the body is responsive to insulin. Or to say that another way, every cell has insulin receptors, these little docking sites for insulin to come and dock onto the cell and then tell the cell to do something. And there are all kinds of some things that insulin will tell the cell to do depending on the cell. So measure the fasting insulin, hopefully less than six microunits per mil. That to me is a very, very good sign. If it's um, up, if it's above, if it's around say seven to 17 or so, that's a warning. And I know that's a bit of a big range, but it's just hard to know in that range whether you are consistently at say 15 or whether you are consistently at five and you just happen to have a peak in your insulin at that moment when you measured. And, so, and then anything above the high teens in insulin, I would say, is almost guaranteed to be a problem. Um, but And that's why, as much as I am a great advocate of measuring insulin, I, I also don't ever mean to imply that it's the only marker, that I think there are other scores, like, for example, the triglyceride to HDL ratio, take triglycerides fasted, divide by HDL fasted, and that number, it, it varies a little bit across ethnicities, but the kind of average point appears to be around 1.5. So get your fasting insulin measured, absolutely, but also couple that with um, your triglyceride to HDL ratio. And if that number is less than 1.5, it's a very good sign that you're insulin sensitive. Even if your insulin creeped up into the teens, don't lose hope. Look at that number and that'll help um, fill in some details. And the value of that number is in the event that anyone listening is not able to convince their clinician to measure their insulin, because let's face it, it's not easy to do. It's often a bit of a battle to get it done. You will always get your triglyceride to HDL ratio measured, uh, or not even the ratio, but those two numbers. Every blood test will include triglycerides. Every blood test will include HDL cholesterol. So take that ratio, just compute it on your own. And if it's less than 1.5, then you can be really confident that your fasting insulin is also going to be good.